So my name is Heather Peng. Uh, I'm an associate professor at the Department of Ocean and Naval Architecture Engineering at Memorial University. I also serve as a director of a first year engineer in the Faculty of Engineering and Applied Science. Currently, I'm a member of the Maneuvering Committee of the International Towing Tank Conference. The ITTC is a voluntary association of a worldwide organization that have the responsibility to form international policy and standards associated with experimental and numerical practice on ship performance analysis. I received my PhD in marine hydrodynamics from the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Dalhousie University. Before joining Memorial University, I was a senior hydrodynamist in MarTech Limited in Halifax and also in the Oceanic Consulting Corporation, St. John's. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. I fell in love with the ocean when I was young and developed a natural passion and interest for oceans and ships. Blue is my favorite color. First, the design of the ship has to consider safety. A vessel must not capsize in the seaway. It must be sufficiently strong to sustain environmental forces and must ensure the crew have a good chance of survival when the vessel does have water in it. Second, a ship should meet the owner's requirement, its size, carrying capacities, endurance, speed, life, resistance, propulsion efficiency, sea keeping quality, maneuverability, and many other features must be matched to the right primary performance at the right cost. The safety and the performance of the ship are directly related to its geometry. The production method and the build cost also affected by its design. Furthermore, the geometrical arrangement must be attractive and showing its character. A good naval architect and ship designer must have experience in a number of fields of engineering, as well as in the field of engineering economics. This inspired me a lot. My research is in the area of marine hydrodynamics. I have extensive experience in numerical and experimental study and also led numerous projects with marine and offshore industries and government agencies and private sectors uh, include uh, nonlinear wave body interaction, hydrodynamic interaction of multiple floating bodies, propeller hydrodynamics, how propeller interactions, renewable wave energy conversions and underwater radiant noise. The exciting part of my research is to develop uh, green uh, ship technology to reduce the greenhouse gas emission by involving the team of memorial researchers, students, National Research Council, Transport Canada, and other partners. By looking at how ship's house and propeller interacts in waves, we can help design more energy efficiency vessels and reduce underwater noise from propellers. This leads to safer operations, fuel and noise reductions, allowing more comfort for those on board the vessels and as well as for marine lives. Both female engineers and female naval architects have been working in the industry for longer than you might think. The Royal Institution of Naval Architects recently published a book called Women in the Institution, 1919 to 2019, to mark the century of female professional members. The first woman associate member was appointed in 1923. In the 1950s, more women began to take relevant degrees and join the naval architecture industry. Now, more and more female students join the field. Our classes often have more than 50% of female students. 